Amazon is looking to help you expand your keyword targeting. And with that sense, they have recently come up with a new feature called keyword groups. With these groups, you can broaden your reach and target more potential customers. So in my today's video, I will walk you through each of these targeting groups, explain how they work and how you can manage them most effectively. So without any due, let's jump into today's topic. So from my Seller Central account, I have opened a sponsored product campaign. And here, if you click on add keywords, here you can see this keyword groups, which is in currently beta version. So how they work actually. So previously, we used to target every single keyword separately. But with this keywords group, you can target a set of keywords that are closely relevant to your product or maybe relevant to your brand or the category. So there are different options that we can try with these keyword groups. So the first one is Prime Day Keywords Group, which is actually based on an event. You can also say this as Seasonal Keywords Group. Like this will target a set of keywords that shoppers are likely to use during the Prime Day. You can say like Prime Day Deals, Prime Day Deals 2024, Today's Deals, Today's Discounts, these types of keywords they will actually target with these groups. Now the question is should you target this group or not? From my perspective I would say no. Let me explain you. If you go to amazon.com and search with a keyword like prime day here you can see the search volume of these types of keywords like prime day deals today, prime day deals, prime day deals 2024 these types of keywords are having the highest search volume and even though during the prime day they will even reach more searches during the prime day. Now the fact is they will trigger entire products on Amazon that have deals or discounts during the prime day. So it's super tough to show your product with these keywords on first page or I mean in front of the customers and also it will be high costly. Let's say you maybe reach some customers with this keyword but there is a high chance of less conversion rate because people are not looking your specific products. They are just looking for the items that have deals and discounts and after that they will decide if they purchase the product or not. So there is a high chance of less conversion rate and end of the day you will just see that you will end up money with these types of keywords. That's why I suggest not to use these types of keywords. Instead, you can go for the long tail product specific keywords. Anyway, if I go to the next targeting groups, the next one is keyword related to gifts. They will target a set of keywords that are associated with your product and shoppers often search with these types of keywords. Let's say you have a product that can be used on gift purpose. For example, during the Father's Day, Mother's Day or birthday, you can use this product to gift someone. So Amazon will trigger all the gifts related keywords if you use this targeting group. Although I didn't use this targeting group yet, but I will try later. Anyway, the next one is keywords related to your product category. These are actually popular keywords that shoppers often use to search for your products in the same category as the products are advertising. So they will also target a set of keywords that are relevant to your product category. I have already tried this before. Let me show you the search terms what they triggered. So from this screenshot you can see I have used the keywords related to your product category these targeting groups and here is the search terms they actually triggered. So you can see they have targeted both generic keywords and also product specific keywords and the result is pretty good so far but the fact is that if you target this targeting group you must need to check your search terms every day and you need to add negative keywords. Let me explain you why I am saying this. If you go to amazon.com let's pick a product for example let's say you are selling this product. So this one is a vitamin D baby drops and the product are listed 
under the vitamin D category. And now, if I open the top selling items of this category, here you can see that we have tablets, we have also soft gel, we have drops, we have gummies, spray also. So, there are so many different items are listed under the same category. So, if you sell only drops, you will definitely want to see the search terms that contain drops, right? But as they are all listed under the same category, so in that case, you may trigger spray, tablets, gummies, or whatever. That's why I suggest to check your search terms every day. And if you find any irrelevant keywords, you should add negatives immediately. This way, you can optimize these targeting groups and get the best results. Now, let's go to the next targeting groups which is actually keywords related to your brand. So they will also target a set of keywords that shoppers often use to reach for your brand. I have used this targeting group, but so far I didn't get any result. I don't know why, but maybe as it's for sponsored product campaigns, that's why we are not getting enough traffic from these targeting groups. But I can show you we have also the same targeting groups on sponsored brand campaigns. Here is one of my sponsored brand campaigns. And if I go to add keywords, and here there are also two different targeting groups available under sponsored brand campaigns. First one is keywords related to your brand, which they will target a set of keywords that are relevant to your brands. And also another one is keywords related to your landing page. They will target a set of relevant keywords that drive traffic to your store or product detail page. I have already tried this one. Let me show you the search terms that I got. So here you can see that within the last 30 days, I got total 78 customer search terms and only one of them actually converted into sales. And after reviewing the search terms, I found there are some totally irrelevant search terms that triggered my ads. So from my experience, I would suggest if you use this targeting group, you should check the search term most frequently and add negative keywords randomly. Otherwise, I think you can skip this targeting group. By the way, if you get any good results with this targeting group, you can also share with us. So these are the keyword groups that Amazon recently launched within a sponsored product and a sponsored brand ads. If you find these keywords groups, important for your category you can try this we offer free audit and seven days trial you can try our service by emailing us at info at econclips.com you can also visit our website www.econclips.com and review our works and blogs i will get back to you soon with another interesting topics or updates till then stay safe thank you